first tonight. If you haven't binged the whole series already, you probably at least heard about The Watcher. It's based on a home right in Westfield. Our Christy Collision is there tonight to show us just how much attention this home is getting. Christy. Kurt, Brittany, all we've been seeing all day and night, even through the rain, um, is people passing by with their phones sticking out of their passenger windows, just trying to get a quick picture or video of the home. And yes, even in darkness and, and rain, people still came out here. And uh, you could already see that the house is closed off and the driveway is closed off, just to show you how busy this house has been today and even this past weekend. We don't get a lot of like spotlight over here, you know, like New York City's next to us, so we get overshadowed a lot. That spotlight on a house in Westfield that's been known as the Watcher House. For years, it received notes from a mysterious sender without a return address, signed the Watcher. Probably someone still living there because it got plants and all the decoration and stuff. And yeah, there's a resident there. There's a family there. Oh, really? Is that why the police sitting outside? Yeah. Okay. The family that lives there now has nothing to do with this story. The house is indeed occupied, but not by the Broadus family. The Netflix series, which came out just around Halloween, is about. The They're long gone. The Broaduses received notes like, quote, the house has been the subject of my family for decades now, and as it approaches its 110th birthday, I have been put in charge of watching and waiting for its second coming and another of a series of scarily personal notes like, quote, I am pleased to know your names and the name of the young blood you have brought to me. You certainly say their names often. All weekend into Monday, passersby have come up to the house, leading to police having to caution tape the front yard and block the driveway. Neighborhood-wise, I mean, it's been nuts. There's a lot of people, even here when we're standing here, there's people doing U-turns and, I mean, kind of going all over the place. So it's a definite change for what's mostly a pretty quiet street. Love the series or not, the story was a bit embellished for Netflix, loosely based on the creepy notes. The home was eventually sold for way under its value because the family just wanted out. Amy is worried the added attention will make the quiet neighborhood a target on mischief night. I mean, it's this Netflix top show. Like, it's just so much more intriguing, so much more mag magnetizing to, to do something that's probably not the best decision. And to answer a lot of questions that we've been getting from passers-by here and people in general, the series is, um, oh, sorry, the, uh, the, how, the series was actually shot in Westchester County, New York, not here at this house. So completely different location, but this is the actual house where this happened. And also just to let you know, the mystery has still not been resolved. And that's the latest that we have here in Westchester. Oh, in Westfield, Christy Kalishian, News 12, New Jersey. Back to you.